In recent days, Dollywood has sent out a survey inquiring about a possible new major roller coaster to come in the future. This is some really exciting news here, so stay tuned and let's talk about this. In a recent survey, Dollywood proposed plans for a new coaster in the future. We have three options that they presented to us. These options are a hyper coaster, an indoor coaster, and a spinning coaster. This is really big news as Dollywood has been investing a ton of money into the park and making some really big expansions. As we all know, Wildwood Grove is opening this year, a whole new immersively themed section of the park, and it includes Dragonflyer, which is a suspended family coaster by Vacoma. Dollywood has got a lot of additions in recent years, including some really major thrill coasters. We have Lightning Rod now, and Wild Eagle opened in 2012, and Dollywood is quickly becoming a must-do destination for coaster enthusiasts, if it wasn't already, with Lightning Rod alone. So, when you have a lineup that has Lightning Rod, Thunderhead, and Tennessee Tornado, and even Wild Eagle, and you're talking about adding another major coaster into the mix, there's really a lot to sink your teeth into here, along with everything else that Dollywood offers. Let's discuss the Hyper Coaster first. Right off the bat, I think the Hyper Coaster would be the most easily marketable to the general public. These rides are huge, they provide great thrills, and these B&M Hypers also are known for being pretty graceful, which is good for the general public too. It's not going to be super intense and full of ejector airtime like something along the lines of Lightning Rod is. So this would provide a good contrast to be huge, big, tall, fast ride the general public would just love but it would also appeal to a lot of people because it wouldn't be too intense have some nice floater airtime and this would be awesome for the park taking into consideration that there is a lot of hilly land at dollywood and most of the coasters utilize the terrain this would make an amazing hyper coaster honestly because this would pretty much certainly have to use the terrain in some way so that would be pretty exciting the next option we're going to talk about here is an indoor coaster. Now, this is very unclear as to what manufacturer would create this ride. The slide describes it as a two to four minute thrill experience with high level of theming, lots of elaborate scenes, story sections of the ride, animatronics, lots of lighting and projection mapping. So we're talking about a very immersive, very story based thrill ride here and in the slide there are pictures of three totally different rides from three manufacturers a Vacoma, an Intamin, and a Zier. So these are all very different rides but they all have an immersive storytelling aspect to them. This could be quite interesting for Dollywood and from what I hear I've heard from several people that Dollywood really needs some more indoor rides, especially seeing as it, you know, it does get cold in the winter and they're open for Christmas and they could really use something like this. So it would make a lot of sense to see something like this come to the park. The last option here we're going to talk about is the spinning coaster. This is a really exciting one as well. In the slide, we have pictures of Time Traveler, which opened in 2018, and it's a very exciting, very, very well-received mock spinning coaster, a thrill spinning coaster, inversions, launches, big drops. So, very exciting ex experience here. This would make a lot of sense for Dollywood because their sister park, Silver Dollar City, a lot of times, you know, they'll add similar things to Dollywood. So this would make a lot of sense in that aspect. And it would also be a very marketable ride. You know, being only the second one in America, there's nothing else like this around that area. Not even any type of spinning coaster in that area of the United States. The slide says this would include a big drop to begin the ride, high speeds, different ride experience every time, which we know that controlled spin on Time Traveler 
It always provides a different experience, but it also allows the ride to not be too intense. It appeals to a lot of people, so it's a very marketable ride, but also very thrilling, and it would get a lot of people's attention. It'd be really appealing, and I think this would be an amazing fit for the park. It would most definitely use some of the terrain like we talked about. I would not be surprised at all to see a spinning coaster come to Dollywood next, although a hyper coaster would make a lot of sense too. All three of these options here, I'm sure we'll see at some point in the next 10 years or so at the park, because they all really do make a lot of sense, and I'm sure at some point they'll get every one of these models. But what do you guys think is coming next to Dollywood? I know there's a lot of exciting possibilities here. The future is looking really bright for Dollywood. They've got a whole new immersively themed section. Lightning Rod just opened three years ago. There's being a lot of money put into this park. A lot of money. So it's going to be really exciting to see what kind of direction Dollywood goes into the future. Obviously, they're going into a more thrill-based direction, but also retaining that family audience and appealing to a lot of people. And they have a really well-rounded lineup of coasters so far, and it looks like they're just looking to improve upon that and build that even more. Dollywood has two elite coasters already in Lightning Rod and Thunderhead, which are two really unique rides very well received by enthusiasts and you know along with great supporting rides like Tennessee Tornado which a lot of people rank fairly highly and then there's some awesome family coasters too and Wild Eagle which is just a good looking fun not very intense coaster that has a lot of inversions that really appeals to the public and then really great supporting family coasters like Fire Chaser Express and now we have Dragonflyer opening in 2019, which is a great looking ride for sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below about what you think Dollywood is going to be receiving next in terms of a new coaster. I believe we could see a new coaster at Dollywood as early as 2021. I'm sure they're not going to wait around too long to add something major. It looks like they're really looking to kick things into really high gear and to expand the park even further. I want to know your guys' thoughts, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all that. Thank you guys so much. I'm coming right up on 300 subscribers right now. And you guys are all amazing, very supportive, and thank you so much for sticking around and watching my videos. I can't thank you enough. Be sure to stay tuned. I'll have more exciting videos coming in the near future. Thanks for watching. This is Coaster Daddy.